answer that question, but is there, is there a problem? Yeah, yeah, we, we've had a complaint, yeah, sir, basically oh, about just someone being here preaching. Um, the yeah. underlining thing has been potentially <laughs> homophobic, is what we've yeah. been told. It's come from an informant, so uh, someone believed yeah, to have a microphone and be here. Of this is the only speaker yes. we can yeah, see at the moment. Mine. So yeah, I'm just yeah. wondering if you've been speaking on the I'm, microphone. I've been preaching, yeah. You've been preaching, okay. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're within your rights to voice your, you know, express yeah. yourselves. However, obviously, there has to be a line with that. Yeah. Um, and at the end of the day, we've had a complaint stating that there's been comments made that homophobic and stuff like that. Now, I'm not accusing you of doing it, I'm going to need to speak to informant in greater detail. But while you're under the balcony here, you are still on London Underground property. Sure. And if you've not got permission to be here, sure. I'm going to have to ask you to move yourself along somewhere else. Oh, I'm actually leaving else. just now, actually. We're, actually leaving leaving now. we're packed up, we're out of Can I ask you just out of interest, what, what, are, you, what are you here for today? Um, what was your purpose? I'm a preacher. Right. Help out people, just like within my rights to do. Okay. All right. Are you local? Uh, no. You're not local. Where, whereabouts are you from? Canada. Canada? Yeah. Are you here on holiday, vacation? Yeah, visit. Or... Oh, all right. Okay. How do you find it over there? Everybody's friendly. Yeah. yeah. No problems or anything like that. Do you have any identification, no. sir? Uh, do I need to? Yes, you do. Just Why? So I can check who you are. Make sure you're not wanted by the police. For I, if I'm not under arrest, I don't. I don't by law have to show you. No, it. under the UK law, you do. When an officer suspects you committed any of sort of offences, there has been allegations that, like my colleague said, there may have been homophobic tones being used. Yeah. Okay. I need to. You just said I'm not being accused of anything. If, if you're arresting me or charging me for anything, that, apparently, according to UK law, from what I understand, okay. I don't have to show my ID. Okay, you don't understand you don't. it. Okay, under pace. Okay, section 25 yeah. of the pace. If I believe an offence has been committed, I need to verify your name and address. So do you feel an offence has been committed? Well, at the moment, yes, there has been uh, allegations. Okay. What's the allegations? Are homophobic? There was homophobic at the time. Some okay. homophobic. 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 What we're doing is we're at the moment, speaking Bella, to... Okay, you can cooperate and I can uh, verify your name and address and you'll be on your way. I, I, from what I understand, um, I don't have to because I'm not okay, under I'm arrest. I'm telling you because I'm a police officer. Can you're not you, under what, arrest what, at the moment. What law? One under, under, okay, under prompt and effective investigation, one of the uh, necessity tests, okay, when placed under arrest, in order not to be arrested if say you want to be reported for the offence I need to verify your name and address so therefore by verifying your name and address I don't have to say okay, you to just listen listen let yeah. me finish you asked me a question okay so in order for you to go to custody one of the, uh, the reasons for the arrest would be to verify your name so and address you but if you can give me your name and address you'll be on your so, way so, so I want to ask you something what can you just show me the law no I can't show you the law mate I'm a practical police officer on duty right now because no, I'm, I'm, I'm having misinformation because I've been yes. told yes. by right. the UK law I've been told by the UK law before that okay, I, I what UK laws told you my well, friend well that's what I'm saying uh, uh, I, police I, officers I, told you what? that because obviously that police officers yeah. I'm telling you someone, the someone, right someone, someone, someone you showed me a law before okay I can't that. prove that okay, but no, I can't that's what I'm saying like, okay. what, well, I can't what law listen, listen. Like, yeah. well I told you okay uh, for the necessity test okay in order not to be arrested okay if I can verify your name and address say any offence has been committed I can report you for the offence okay so do you feel listen, an listen, 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 yeah. listen yes the allegation has been made okay uh, we need to speak to the informant okay you can, like I said we can either do this in police custody not a problem okay or I can take your details now and if the uh, allegation gets proved or anything like that so this, this is UK law well, yeah, so as long as it is Luke, if this yes. is UK law yes. for the last time I heard it wasn't look well, I don't know where you heard so, that from. So, pre-2005 pre Yes, it wasn't okay. UK law. So no. you're saying I have to show my ID even though I'm not under arrest? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, to verify who you are. Hello, who are you? I don't have. You don't have me. Okay, you're an allegation. So, so, that's, that's, so what's really going on? You don't have to. I don't have to. Set. Yeah, so I. Set. Set. Got to record. So, you don't. I don't have. I live local. I live local. I'm a pastor at a Methodist church. We didn't come here to preach all the time. That's what I said. No, it's how I will verify for the person. When you came there was nothing like that. So who is that person? The person might be lying. Who is the person who informed you? The person might be lying. Let the person come and justify it. Because when you came in, we were just talking to people and sharing drugs. So whoever saw him, there's no police every day. Let the person, whoever, whoever, whoever gave you the information, let the person come and prove that the point. Please, we come here all the time. We are here. Whatever we are doing. Whoever gives you the information, 
Officer, I Hi, officer. Uh, is there is there a bylaw or a law that I have to show my ID if I'm not under arrest? If you can, if you can show me that, if, there, if you can't show me that, then I'm just gonna go on my way. I need to get the informant right at the moment, so I'm gonna make a call and find out what is substantiating. If he's making any actual allegations and wishes to pursue a complaint because you've been making homophobic remarks, first of all, out of your group, I need to take that issue. If he says he wishes to pursue it, then I will be asking you for your name and address, okay? If you fail to provide me that, so I can't deal with you here and now, you will be liable to be arrested, okay, <coughs> under the Public Order Act, right? But before I do that, I'm going to make a phone call to the informant, confirm that you and your group is who I need to be speaking to, and find out exactly what's said, because obviously you can appreciate, we're only given limited information in the first instance, so I need to find out if he actually was offended by what's been said, what's been said, okay? So if you want to be prayed for, we invite, if you want to be prayed for us, there were, there were, there were, the community, there were, they were actually abusing us too, they did not report that. We are happy yeah, yes, so, reported, definitely yeah. reported. So we are reporting that now as well. No, no, the and then, this is what it is. Listen, last, last year I asked permission from the council to do a little bit music in front of us and people were still complaining. Even though I have the lenses, I have to be showing lenses to everybody. But some people come and nobody challenged them. There is a guy who comes to play music over here at the square okay. every Sunday. Nobody goes As long as it's the word of God, is people have a problem with it. The Bible said that the, the gospel of faith. People don't want to people, hear the gospel. They don't care. They just call here. For, uh, you don't have to stand there and listen to us. You could just walk away. That's the problem. You stood here in harmony and listen and you're approved. Get on the bus and go home. It's easy. You understand what I'm saying? You don't have to listen to us. So don't practice. You don't have to listen. We can't speak you, about you the Lord here. anymore. You didn't go to his I see people saying, pan a bell, pan a bell. And nobody read, uh, arrests them. We are talking, it's because it's about Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, that is all. Obviously. It's because it's about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, come on, this station. Come on, come on. We are not station. committing any crime. We don't see no police. We are not committing any crime. We are telling people the righteousness. Why should this be a problem? Why should no, people no. Com uh, complain no. for no. preaching Jesus? No, a police are racist. You can do it. No. No. <laughs> well, praise right. the Lord. We got police here. And uh, apparently they want to see my ID without any uh, verification of facts. Apparently, according to UK law, I don't have to. Second thing, apparently there's allegations that something I said was offensive. My question here is, is the Bible an offense to UK citizens? If I read from the Bible, I should have that right to do. Because the Queen of England puts her hand on the Bible. So we have police officers here wasting my time, holding me here, verifying something that I read from the Bible, which is not a problem. So, my friends, what are the police here for? They're here to protect our rights and freedoms and to ensure that we're living by the very foundation of England, which is the Bible. The Bible is the foundation of England. That's why the Queen swears on the Holy Bible. The day that the Bible becomes an offense, be careful. This is why I preach. I preach in the UK, and I preach because our land, this land, has forgotten the principles of all. They have forgotten the foundation of Britain. They have forgotten the truth. Now a preacher, a preacher of Jesus Christ, the gospel, calling people to repent of their sins, is being questioned. Meanwhile, there's people all over UK living in sin. And they're not being questioned. Why don't I question you on your bad choices? You're smoking. You're considering a crime because you're giving me smoke inside of me. You're offending me. Why aren't the police arresting you? Police, will you arrest them for smoking? No. That's, that's not a yeah. yeah. It is. It is. People area. swear at people all the time. <laughs> would you would, would you would you arrest them, officer? Officer, would you arrest for someone for swearing at me? The children about yes. If they, you can arrest you. You can get arrested for swearing at somebody. You better be careful. Don't say the f word. 
<laughs> Don't say the S word. In fact, you know what? I actually think the guy that probably, probably he's is bringing the swearing. He's swearing. Swearing. No, he's swearing at me. No, it's it's so it's about the gospel. So, the whole thing is my friends, it. listen to me. At the end of the day, I'm proud of preaching the gospel. Amen. I'm Amen. proud of Jesus. Amen. And our country, this country, apparently is standing on the word of God, which is the Bible. Amen. Now the police officers yeah, are doing their job. It's everywhere, of course. But sometimes they go beyond their job and make it personal. I don't know their personal background. I don't know if they're religious. I don't know if they're atheists. I don't know if they're Muslim. I don't know what their background is. But sometimes police can abuse their position. I ask them to show me the law that says I need to show my ID if I'm not under arrest. They won't show me the law and yet they expect me to believe what they say. But I know that unless an officer is prepared to show the very statutes that they want to enforce, I think they're not doing their job. My friends, an officer that doesn't come prepared to show the very laws he tries to enforce is not a prepared officer. Now, no discrimination, no harm done. We need to hold people to account of their lives just as God is going to hold everyone to an account of their lives. What we need to do, my friends, is remember that everyone will give an account of their lives. Their sin, your sin, will be called to an account. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. My friends, if the Bible is not illegal, I will preach the Bible as long as it's legal. You know why? Because it's the Word of God. Amen. The Bible is the Word of God. It trumps any law. Yep. It trumps every person. We must stand on the Word of God. And the day no, no, that we don't is the day our, our, our society falls apart. My friends, turn to the Lord. Seek Him while He might be found. Call upon Him while He is here. I'm about to be arrested. They want to arrest me for preaching. Then let them arrest me. Because I'm not ashamed of Jesus. And listen, if they're going to take a preacher and throw them in jail for preaching, I put my hands up. Amen. I'm guilty. I'm guilty of the worst crime. Calling people to account for their lives. The police are here to arrest me because I'm preaching about Jesus. Amen. I'm preaching the word. And I will continue to preach the word until I die. I will continue to proclaim Jesus. I will continue to tell you to repent. I will continue to tell you that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Jesus Christ is calling each man to account of their lives. I'm under arrest. I'm under arrest, everybody. It's not prison, it's a police station. It's a police station. We'll find out in a minute. There's an allegation here. How can I be under arrest? Can we come? Yeah. There's an allegation you did verify, yeah? Is it against him or everyone? No, he's the one that's the preacher. That's it. He's against the preacher. Sorry? You need to hang up. I'm under arrest. Should I get? Or encouraging. Encouraging one. So you want to go with him? Is that what he's saying? Are we going? Because we're all encouraging. We're all free. How can a preacher be arrested for preaching? How can a preacher be arrested? All right, everybody. Just so you know, I'm a preacher. I'm being arrested for preaching the word. I'm arrested for preaching about Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. They can't stop. No drug dealers, man. Jesus Christ is Lord. 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 Jesus
Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. This is what the feds are good. Jesus Christ is Lord. This is who the feds are good for. Don't be arrested as a preacher. Preaching about Jesus Christ. Preaching the gospel. He's not selling drugs. 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 He